that's pretty much it. I'll turn the group off. There you go. There's where we started. And then I'll turn the group back on. And there is where we ended. So. All right, welcome to the channel. I'm uh, gonna do a little cleanup on this shot. Um, I don't know if you guys think that I get every shot, my composition is jacked like this. They're not. Um, these are ones that I think people often get, maybe their composition is messed up or maybe they're in a small room. Um, that's what I get a lot of feedback on and they have edges like this or the paper especially is a little wrinkly, you know. And how do I fix that? And I've done a few videos just like this one, but you guys keep asking. And um, I'll post something like this on social media, like Instagram. And uh, I get a lot of comments. Hey, and I'll do a kind of a speed reel, you know, where it's very fast, um, 30 seconds along of the whole process. And people want to see the whole thing. So um, I'm going to do that with this shot. And I'm going to post a YouTube video here. Uh, on the same day so that when people ask me how I did this I can point them to YouTube right all right so if you guys like this kind of content give me a subscribe I really appreciate it, it encourages me to keep making more content like this so let's go for it here um, this one uh, what I want to do is clean this piece up on the edge right and that should just leave us with a red background reddish uh, there's different tones in here pinks and all that and then probably just fix this right here um, and then there's you know she's got a shadow I don't know how much we're gonna be able to retain that uh, with my method we'll see and right here uh, I kind of want it to be the light fall off here to be similar to the other side maybe just darker um, and then center her and crop it and we should be done so um, let's start off I'm gonna do a new layer control J and I'm going to come here you know what before we do that let's fix this and this piece down here that way when we uh, let it fill this in hopefully it will extend what I've done over here to the edge and you'll see what I'm talking about so I'm gonna grab the patch tool and just see if we can kind of get rid of this piece here it drives me crazy when I get folds in the paper grab that one over there too here's another one alright so then what I'm gonna do let me do a select subject just so I can isolate her from the background and when I work on the background nothing will bleed into her uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here I just did a select subject right clicked and I chose select inverse okay now what I'm gonna do is just come down to my adjustment layers and create a curves layer you can save that to a selection however you want to do this I like having it right here in the curves it creates a mask for me automatically which I know that I'm going to use later um, I can also in addition to the mask add mask to selection and look my previous selection is saved if I want it and I will use that as well so not really going to use this curves layer right now just saving the mask and the selection in there um, what I want to do, let's create a new blank layer and start working on the background right here. So I'll do plus to get a new blank layer. I'm going to come back to that mask that I created with the curves layer and choose add mask to selection. And just like that, I've got my selection back. You may have a better way to do that. Uh, let me know. All right. Uh, so I'm going to pick the paintbrush tool, choose flow of about, uh, let's do 15%, bring it down a little bit, make sure you're using a soft brush hardness zero um, or you will get streaks so make sure that you have your blank layer selected use the right and bright left bracket keys next to the p key to resize your brush here i just want to kind of work in this area and i'm going to hold down the alter option to get this color right here and i'm just going to kind of extend this sort of line over and the reason i'm doing that you know it's not 100 percent clean but uh kind of do that is just to more or less keep this line it gives sort of some 3d dimensionality to it um, having this line across there like that's where the paper ends and this is where the background goes up right on the ground so that's the fold um, so I've got that so now I'm going to you can hit control D to deselect if you want um, come over here and select this area right here with the quick selection tool actually it's the rectangular selection tool 
and I'm just going to choose Shift F5. That's going to give me the content of our fill, and I'm going to hit OK, and it should fill it in, and it's not, because why? Um, I need to come down to a layer that actually has pix pixels in it. I'm going to flatten this, do a Control shift option e so it gets the changes that I just had. Then I'm going to choose Shift F5, Content Aware, hit OK. It didn't like it before. It threw me an error down on this blank layer because there's nothing in there. If you look at this, except where I painted, right? So it can't find what it wants me to do. If I do a Control shift alt e or Option e flatten the layer down, it goes to this layer here. You can see, and it can use the content of where to fill in the edge. Um, if I went down here, it might not have gotten these changes that I made in another layer. Um, so I just want to make sure that it's filling it in based on the work that I did right here. And it did. It sort of continued this over to the edge. So it's a little, you know, needs, still needs a little work, right? Um, so we can continue to work on this layer here. What I would say is let's just go ahead and crop it. Uh, we will hit the crop tool and then click once on it to activate it and then just come up here and drag your crop lines. She's obviously off so you can click and drag to about where you think she should be. Uh, make sure you have content aware checked up here so it will fill in these white edges for you. Click the check mark or enter. Pretty good. Now we've got its crop for Instagram. That crop by the way was for by five up here that's why i'm doing it it drives me crazy that we have to do that i've wasted so much time cropping for instagram and fixing things but it is what it is i digress so this is bugging me right here i'm just going to go ahead use my clone stamp tool uh hold down the alter option grab a target and kind of just get rid of that okay so it's a little you know mm, on the edges here's the thing I, i'm going to come back and uh i could let's see what this selection does uh add mass to selection i think it's going to be yeah it's only going to pick up to the edge because we cropped so let's go back here Control t to deselect and let's get a new curves layer right with a new selection make sure you got the most recent layer selected with pixels in it come to your quick selection tool here choose select subject um, if you want to refine the selection after it finds it, you can go to Select and Mask. I have a refinement saved in here, a preset called Custom. Sets, smooths out the, the selection line a little bit, adds a little contrast to it. Um, does a radius of uh, one pixel about, and I just hit OK. And that just kind of smooths out any jagged edges on the selection. You want to zoom in especially with this technique on the skin because um, we're going to paint and we may get some paint on edges here like that. I'm not going to go into cleaning up the edges like this, but these little edges right here you'll need to pay attention to um, when you're doing something like this with your images. Make sure you're not painting onto the edges of her skin and that is going to be based on your selection and the subsequent mask that is created. Uh, that could be kind of a long process and I'm going to skip that here. So I'm going to right click choose select inverse now I just have the background selected right and we'll just paint on this layer this is fine I'll use the paintbrush tool flow oh let's do about 20 percent 15 20 percent make sure hardness is set to zero percent you're using a soft brush and let's just kind of try to even this out um, the downside you know of this technique is that you lose texture it's a trade-off right I'm going to hold down the alter option and pick this so you know, the texture in the paper is kind of nice. Um, and I'm just swiping here and then selecting colors as I go. We're going to lose, this is a shadow, right? We're going to lose some of that. Another, you know, kind of a downside. It's a trade-off, as I said, um, to either kind of having a really smooth background versus just kind of messiness, right? It, which is what we started off with. So, I'm just grabbing colors as I go down, right? We'll maybe grab this color, and I'm just swiping once each time to kind of just finesse uh, this color in here, right? There we go. 
and kind of smooth the the roughness out now she kind of had a little, tiny bit of glow and we're gonna enhance that a little bit later but i can kind of come there with the red uh, it didn't really do much there but just get it to where that's pretty good right there um it's a, the paper was a little dirty down here so we could come down here alter option grab that color alter option just keep grabbing colors as you go along so there's a little bit of a variation here and there right um something like these i can paint or i can you know clone stamp i can maybe just want to clean them up just a little bit right um this one maybe i'll grab this color here and just kind of it kind of smoothed it out too much there didn't it i don't like that i'm going to hit control z couple times to set it back to where it was maybe I'll just come in and grab the patch tool whoops control Z is your friend and we'll control D to deselect that's why it's doing that we'll grab this kind of move it up there just to get rid of that you know it's a little you can use different methods here to kind of smooth this stuff out um, this looks fairly good. I still have a little bit of, you know, dirtiness on the paper where people walked on it. But, you know, that's pretty good. I'm going to go back to my paintbrush tool. Pick this up here. Just get the corners a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to select the top layer here. Then select the bottom layer while holding the shift key down. And then I can, that will select them all. And then I can hit control G and that groups them together. Now I can turn the edits off. That's where we started. We cropped, so we lost the stuff on the right side, but you can see the shot, the original shot here before we cropped is there. That's where we started and that's where we ended. Now it's pretty smooth, right? We lost some, some texture and we could certainly maybe try to put an overlay or something like that in there to uh, reacquire some texture. But, um, uh, you know, like I said, it's a trade-off. Uh, you turn the, the group off. It's a trade-off between, you know, this where we started and this where I kind of ended off. Now, if I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz, I can do a new blank layer, click on the plus, and uh, let me do a select. I'm going to come back down to the layer with pixels here. I got ahead of myself, and I'm going to choose the quick selection tool right here, this one. Choose that select subject again. I'm not going to bother with a select and mask this time. I'm just going to choose select inverse. Um, I can save this by just creating a curves layer. I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to use the, the resulting mask for the next thing that I do. So I'm not even using this curves. I, I had the selection. Uh, just in case you missed that, I selected her, selected inverse like we did before just to select the background. I came down here. I created a curves layer. And that created a mask based on my selection. Not even using the curves. I'm just saving the mask right here. Because I'm going to use it in a minute. I've done this a few times. And up here, I'm going to use this method. I have several different ways of doing this background glow. As if you had a, a strobe pointed at the background. Giving it a little glow on the backdrop. Um, didn't, didn't do that here. Um, but I can get my brush tool. Maybe flow 20%. Let's select, uh, hold down the Alter Option key, this color here as my primary. That selects sort of a pink color. I'm going to make it, I clicked on the color here, the primary color. I'm going to come up here and make it even lighter, like that color. But I want it to be kind of in the same color range uh, in the reds and pinks, right? So then I'm going to, let me use the right key, bracket key, make it a little larger. And then I'm just going to start clicking or tapping if you're using a pen and tablet. Um, just to start creating a glow a few times, you know, my flow is only 20%, right? Click one more time and I've got a pretty good glow there, but obviously, you know, we're, it's in the front of her and I want it to emulate a backlight glow right behind her. So what can I do? Grab that mask I created down here, hold down control alt or control option, drag it up to the glow layer. And just like that, the light is behind her now. You could do a couple things here. It's really to taste, depending on how much you like this and how good your mask was. You gotta, as I said before, check the edges, right? But 
um, you could, and when I say edges, talking about the skin, right? You could just lower the opacity, you know, down to like 50, just to give a subtle glow, and that looks pretty good, actually. Or, if you wanted to play around with the blend options, I just went over here and clicked right. I'll make sure you're on the layer, right? You've got the layer selected. Go to the blend mode here, and you could select something like overlay. Just play around with the different ones. Vivid light. Just depends on the shot, which one, you know, is going to look. You just look at all of them and see which one you like. Um, still like this dissolve. I'm going to use it one of these days on something. I'll just go with overlay for now. And I still might want to bring the opacity down just a little bit. Maybe to 70%, 65%. And we'll turn that layer off and you see this it's just subtle but it's a little glow behind her and it just adds a little pizzazz right so that's pretty much it i'll turn the group off there you go there's where we started and then i'll turn the group back on and there is where we ended so again if you like this kind of content give me a subscribe i appreciate it thanks for watching if you're still here at the very end of this i really appreciate you um, cause uh, looking at my stats, everybody drops after like five, five minutes, a lot of times less. So if you're still here, I appreciate you. Thanks a lot.